Hello there, welcome to this channel. I will be providing Selenium training here, and in this tutorial, we will cover up the following topics. What is Selenium? The second part will be what is the web driver architecture. The third part will be the why do we need Selenium? Do we have any other softwares rather than Selenium? And the fourth one will be is Selenium a tool or a jar file? So let's begin with the first part. What is Selenium? Selenium is an open source automation framework and it is particularly used to test the web based application. What does this mean? It means only the application that are web based can be tested using Selenium. Selenium cannot test the desktop based applications. So this is an important point to understand. Second important point is it supports multiple languages. You can code easily in different languages in whatever you want. You can code in Java, Python, C Sharp, Ruby, PHP. You can code in any language, whatever you want. Third point is Selenium is a suite of softwares. Selenium consists of Selenium IDE, Selenium RC, WebDriver, and Selenium Grid. Selenium IDE is used when a person is knowing the least programming language or want to record the tests, then Selenium IDE is preferred. Selenium RC is depreciated. Selenium WebDriver. We will be going through the concepts of WebDriver as it is a broad concept. It will be discussed in the training all, all thoroughly. And Selenium Grid is when you want to test at the same time in different browsers or different machines or different operating systems. So when we talk about the Selenium, we mostly talk about the Selenium web driver. So in this training, whatever we will be going through, it will be related to Selenium web driver. And if there is any need to other specific things, then that will be mentioned specifically. Now we will move to the web driver architecture. What is Selenium web driver architecture? As we know, Selenium supports multiple languages. So we will be writing our test execution in Java language in this case. Now our execution, our test script is written in Java language and this Java language needs to communicate with the browser, but it cannot directly. This Chrome, this Google Chrome or any type of browser will not understand the client library. Here the client library we are using is Java. So what happens? Each and every browser has its own driver. Google has its own browser driver that's called the Google, uh, Chrome driver. Mozilla Firefox has its own driver. Internet Explorer is having its own driver. Microsoft Edge is having its own driver. Safari is having its own driver. In this case, every browser is having its own browser driver. Now, once the test execution has started, the Selenium code that we have written will be converted to JSON. Once this data is converted into JSON, it will be sent to the browser driver via HTTP protocol. Remember, every browser has its own separate browser driver. Do not confuse here. This browser driver acts as a broker between the Selenium client and the browsers. So once the data is received by the browser drivers, it sends it, it to the specific browsers and it executes the commands by interpreting JSON which it receives on the browser. This browser driver plays a key role in sending the data to the browsers. Once it is uh, completed, uh, browser driver browser driver receives response back from the server and it sends JSON response back to the client. So this way the Selenium architecture works. In this way our execution is working. I hope you understand with this. If you do, please mention in the comments. If you have any doubts, please mention in the comments. All right. So one important question is, why do we stick to Selenium when there are other tools available like the QTP and important other tools? Why do we stick to the Selenium? So the biggest advantage you can know about Selenium is that it is an open source tool and it is particularly used for web-based applications. Due to the open source tool, Selenium is mostly used in the world. If there are non-web applications like the Windows app or the desktop application or the mobile application, then Selenium is not the right tool. If we talk about the mobile applications, we have to use APM for that. But the biggest advantage of Selenium is also that it supports multiple languages and 
it also supports other frameworks easily you can integrate maven you can integrate log4j jenkins with selenium so in that way selenium is a great tool to get started with and it is the most widely used tool in the whole world now the last part of the video is is selenium a tool or a jar file so selenium is not a tool it is just a jar file so how does our project know that is selenium present or not so when we are dealing in a project we need to download these jar files and insert them into our projects this way our java classes will get the knowledge of selenium i hope guys this video was helpful for you if you are new to this channel consider subscribing and share with your friends so that they can understand the process of automation automation is the next next big thing that's going to happen in the coming years stay tuned for more updates thank you